Hello and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to make customized message boxes in Game Maker. By customized message boxes, I mean these little dull gray boxes right here. Little boring gray boxes with little red things and light red button clicks and whatever. These little dull and boring, so I'll teach you how to customize it, make it look cool, fly, and all that stuff. So yeah, go back to Game Maker. And so, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a background and a sprite. Now for sprite, I'll choose SPR underscore answer. I haven't edited it yet, so. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it 64 by 32. That's a good height and width for a button. Now sprite underscore answer. Let me rephrase this. SPR underscore OK. This is going to be the little button that says OK. You know how on the little dull gray boxes it says OK? This is going to be the little OK button. Now, get, since we're using Game Maker, Game Maker will automatically put, hold on, let me put three images, image 0, image 1, and image 2. Image 0, right here, this one, is automatically the, the um, sprite that will be used, automatically the sprite for the OK button that will be used when the mouse isn't touching the OK button. So when the mouse isn't touching the OK button, this is what it's going to look like. So we'll edit it, we'll make it blue, I guess. So this is what it's going to be blue when your mouse isn't touching it. Image 1 is automatically the sprite of when the mouse is touching the OK button, but not clicking it. The mouse is touching it, so let's make that one green, I guess. Light green. And image two is when the button is clicked on. Is when the OK button is clicked on. Let's make that like black. So this is what it's going to look like when you click on it. Image zero is when the mouse isn't touching it. Image one is when the mouse is touching it. And image two is when you click on it. So yeah. I'm also going to be making a background for the box. Now the background, I used uh 374 by 256 background. It's just a red, plain old red background. 374 by 256. Don't use something too small or else it might not work. Like don't use a 16 by 16 tile. It might not work. Well, I tried it and it didn't work. So I was using this background, background underscore box, red. Make it a background. And so after you make your objects, we're going to a control object from previous tutorial. You just add a create event. If you don't have one, you just make a control object. Just add a create event. Control. You just execute some code in the create event. Now in the create event, there are a lot of message box actions and codes. So message. And then we already have a lot up here. Message alpha, which is the transparency. Background, button. Um, button font, caption. There's a whole lot of them, so you can customize it very well. Position, size, text, font. So there's a lot you can customize. We'll be using the background and button. So first we'll use background. Message underscore background. And we'll say this one was called back underscore back underscore box. So we'll call it back underscore box. And then it does the rest for us. And now we want to use message underscore button and we want to change the sprite to SPR underscore OK so SPR underscore OK oh wait SPR underscore OK I was going to show you guys more but I didn't understand how to use some of them like um, message text font I didn't understand message input font I didn't understand how to use some of them so it got a little confusing. Like input font, I didn't understand what these meant. Name, color, style. I tried to find out, but I couldn't. So, oh well. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like now. So hold on. Make sure your control object is in your game, in your room. Persistent. Okay, so here's the grand unveiling, and voila!
see, I've entered a cheat code here. Like I said, I couldn't change the font. I didn't know how to change this background either. It's probably one of those buttons, but whatever. I changed this, and I changed this. So I can see here, and enter a cheat code, let's do score, I guess. So when I press OK, when my button isn't touching it, it's blue. When I am touching it, it's green. When I click on it, it's black. And yay, it works. It looks better than the one before. Well, w once I find out how to change this, I guess I'll make a part two, teaching you how to customize the rest of it. But I didn't know how to, so yeah. Well, this has been an original Retry This production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.